Hello everybody and welcome back to a new Invincible Reaction. So, before jumping into the episode today, I have a little challenge going on on the channel as on our way to our 10,000 subscribers. Here it is. Share this video to one person. Talk to this channel to one person. Just one. One only. Do this and maybe we'll be to 10,000 subscribers in no way. We went to 100,000 uh a hundred thousand wow <laughs> that really went fast we went to a hundred sorry subscribers uh quite fast a thousand quite fast as well six thousand quite fast that was my very personal um goal and now on our way to ten thousand subscribers maybe if you get to share this video with only one friend of yours one whether it is uh, an old pal or somebody you just met or an online friend you never met just one just one. Maybe we'll get 10,000 subscribers in no time. That being said, Invincible, that show is so much fun. I mean, the violence is quite fantastic, I have to say. Really entertaining. The humor in it is quite clever as well, I would have to say. And there's a little drama and there's mystery. Uh, uh, romantic drama, of course, and um, murder mystery, if we could say so. So, last time... Um, it was a really fine episode. Uh, first of all, I have to start with Dr. Seismic because I didn't talk about Dr. Seismic uh, at the end of last uh, episode. Uh, so far was my favorite villain, I think, that we've had, uh, like one-time villain. Um, so it was great. Uh, the fight choreography, by the way, was fantastic because it was entertaining, it was uh, clever, it was somewhat innovating, I would say, because that Usually, you know, defeating the new, the villain, the episodic villain is, nah. But this time it was quite clever of a choreography. Now, what am I expecting this episode? I'm expecting maybe to get to know what Robot is being up to with the clones, because he helped, ex well, he organized the escape of the clones. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is all about. Is he really um, plotting something or is it maybe just, you know, to have a training ground for um, for the new uh, Guardians of the Globe? Most probably, I would think. Um, or maybe a robot is just a mastermind and maybe he's even behind uh, Omni-Man's uh, psychotic uh, breakout in episode one. You know, maybe, maybe not. Um, Sucile is slightly uh, closing in, if I could say so, on um, the Graysons. So is Dark Blood. Dark Blood. Yeah. Um, who just questioned Nolan's wife. And she didn't tell Nolan that Dark Blood was here. So she may be knowing that something is uh, not totally right about all of that case. So I'm really looking forward to what she's uh, going to do. Obviously, uh, Mark is left quite outside of this. He has to deal with his own, own problems, his own teenage and problems, and um, trying to be uh, the new superhero guy. Um, I don't know who I'm rooting for, by the way, in this uh, drama. I don't know if I'm rooting for... Uh, the normal chick or for Eve. I don't remember her name. Amber. That was it. I don't know. Um, probably Eve. I don't know why. Uh, as much as I love um, Amber's blandness and genuineness, <laughs> originality, I would say. Uh, I like Eve's uh, sense of independence and. The fact that she's just totally badass. I mean, <laughs> like, so yeah. Um, besides, uh, she she's a redhead. I love redheads. Anyways, <laughs> uh, that being said, we're gonna jump right into today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. You know, uh, just like always, the full length reaction to that video is gonna be available on the Patreon link down below in the description box. And check out all of the other links to my social medias and the Discord server. Let's go. Previously, in case you forgot that Omni-Man eradicated the whole superhero task force. <laughs> oh 
We're going in Indiana Jones style. <laughs> He's resurrecting a whore. <laughs> Some mountain dudes messing up the desert. Oh! <laughs> okay. And you guys didn't uh, notice what's uh, what's happening. Last one to Mount Everest does the dishes for a week. Go. <laughs> Wait, where's Mount Everest? You know where I killed everybody. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry, sorry. It's okay. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Even more blood. Ooh. Damien. <laughs> Guess where they're going? Out. Ooh, out. <laughs> out. Every woman's favorite destination for a romantic evening. How about you? You done any traveling? I've been to Mount Everest. Oh, I uh, visited with my dad. Visited. Damien. <laughs> Wondered if you'd come. You murdered seven people. Ah, he knows. And demons know evil when they see it. Burn. She's, she's just floating. <laughs> Wife already suspects. How long until son does too? Go fuck yourself, dark blood. <laughs> what an exit. <laughs> so he's the clever one. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Oh! Okay, yeah, he's making a clone. Must be hungry. What is this? Soap? <laughs> you just buy cloning material like that? You're the wife of the most powerful man on earth. Did you seriously say that? What? I'm not just your wife, Nolan. Yeah. <laughs> Nolan! Maybe you can understand that. Why are you here, Cecil? Jeez. Let's go it's funny how they made out before the first date. <laughs> like savages. Oh, really subtle. I need your father to shadow the mission. Make sure nothing goes wrong. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to get rid of me. It's because <laughs> of the Guardian's Massacre that I want you on this mission. Is Mark gonna go on it? I guess this is the part where I volunteer? If the kid wants to go, he'd be doing humanity a favor. Debbie, help me out here. The fact that you don't know how far away Mars is, <clears throat> is exactly why you shouldn't be missing school. Touché. You need to decide what kind of hero you want to be. <laughs> I'll do it. I mean, she kind of, she, she's talking about what kind of hero you want to be. Uh, the hero he wants to be. I wanted Nolan off planet so we could investigate him for the murders without arousing his suspicion. Chance to see what this kid can do. And more importantly, if his heart's in the right place. Okay, so Cecil, Cecil, not Cecil. Cecil is on the good side. Great. Nice that this has been cleared out for us. The weather continues to hold, and we've been told everything's looking. <laughs> Mark? It's departed two minutes and is it there? Okay, bye. <laughs> Maybe three. Six, I'll bring two, you back a souvenir. One. In ways we can only imagine. I mean, it's kind of a bit lame for humanity to go to this extent and you just have invincible flying with them like it's nothing. <laughs> Home safe. The humanity's counting on you. I love these deaf sound. You know, ever since Mark got his powers, you've been different. I'm trying to teach him. I don't even know your people. You're hiding something from me and it hurts. And I love you, and Mark, so much. But something's up. So if Mark can be seen, how is he gonna live for two weeks? <laughs> sure, you can do that. <laughs> Ridiculous. 
Ah, yeah. Frozen. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> I haven't been honest with you, Debbie. About what? About the murders. Cecil thinks I had something to do with what happened to the Guardians. I'm the only survivor, and I'm not human. What do we do? We stay together as a family. Mm, he's trying to manipulate his wife. <laughs> no good, sir. I'm on vacation <laughs> with my beautiful wife. <laughs> Cecil earn his paycheck. I mean, people are dying in the meantime just because you want to be smug. Ooh. No one warned us about you. Oh, oh. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, Daleks. Welcome to Mars, Earthman. Thanks for having me, Marsman, <laughs> Mr. Marsman, <laughs> sir, your highness. Your manners. <laughs> I'm part Viltrumite. Ever heard of us? I am the Emperor of Mars. Of course I've heard of you! Terrorizers. Are they not in fact saviors? So, Enemies. if you're all good, we'll finish our science and head home. Impossible! I understand. Yeah, that's where they might just go now. <laughs> well, that's a... Uh, that's a way to go about it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was so proud of himself. No hard feelings, right? I'm gonna take a rock if that's okay. <clears throat> yeah? I mean, they... They're off planet. They are not gonna get in contact with any of their cichlids unless one of them has infiltrated the ship. <gasps> one has been infected. <gasps> we know what's up. We don't want to see it. Oh no, Mark. No. Oh hey, you're back early. Why are the lights off? I need to keep things great until I can figure out why no one killed the Guardians and how to stop them. That's cool. <laughs> A shame, but that's cool. Yeah, me take on the side. Sorry. Oh, now you care about the demon? He's not dead. He's just back in hell. Isn't 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 that worse? What's up with you? Finally, phase one begins. Everything's fine. <laughs> All right, guys, so Invincible. So at the end here, we just saw uh, Damien, or at least Damien seems to be back. Um, I knew it. Mostly because of the subtitles. Subtitles said Damien, uh, Dark Blood growling. Uh, but I don't know if maybe just by the sound, I think I would have recognized him. I think. Um, but yeah, I tried to check, you know, uh, on the screen. I'm not sure. I think we could see his trench coat, but I'm unsure. But okay. Um, so Cecil, Cecil doesn't want anybody. Uh, on the case while he is working it. I mean, I don't really understand yet why they don't want to work with Damien. I'm gonna call him Damien now because it's so fun. <laughs> um, I think maybe just because he's a demon, so they don't trust Demon because they're humans. Maybe because otherwise, Damien seems to have a um, a good record in his um, Detective work. There's not a work for detective. I don't remember it is, what it is. It's a strange word. Um, but anyways, it was quite um, interesting because we have progress 
seemingly progress. You know, we don't know much more about the case, but we know that um, the GDA definitely believes, or oh, they know maybe, that Nolan did it. Um, Damien is closing in on the case as well. Debbie, even though she says she has, she 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 trusts Nolan, uh, she wants to trust him, but um... ah, a dick. That's it. The nickname for peas. That's why it's so funny. Anyways, uh, we we know she doesn't trust him. We know she 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 still believes that something is shady, and uh, luckily she does. Um, Mark, still as funny as ever. Uh, I'm a little worried regarding his relationship with Emma because I'm afraid that it's gonna be a bad influence for him. Now that Amber is a herself is a bad influence, but the the love and the interest he has for her might be a bad thing for him. Um <laughs> you know he got a little bit of a trouble on Mars. Um but um I don't know, I feel it could get really uh it could become a real trouble for him, that Amber thing. Uh, as he's trying to balance everything. I mean, I'm watching other shows, and uh, <laughs> when people are trying to balance things, it never works out. So it's going to be quite interesting um, to see. And yes, uh, a robot is on something as well. I'm not sure... I'm wondering, is he trying to make the perfect superhero? Maybe trying a, taking a bit of everybody. Maybe. But that's hard because if I were to make the superhero by excellence, I wouldn't take blood from uh, <laughs> Rex, quite honestly. Um, but yeah, I don't know what was that. Uh, organic being in the uh, tank. I was about to say creature, but I don't want to be disrespectful. But I don't know what it is at all. I can't speak of a human being. Um, I'm just gonna go back and check on the looks of it. Yeah, it's a thing that's totally um, messed up. It's all, uh, it has engineering body parts, or I don't know, so. Robots talking about phase one, I don't know what it means. I don't know, I don't know, and I'm not gonna speak it because it could be so many things. But that's nasty for sure. That's really nasty. <laughs> and so, yeah, Nolan is a bit, uh, I, I, I came with an idea, uh, you know, when uh, Mark faced with the uh, Mars Emperor. The Mars King, the Mars Emperor, sorry, didn't seem to be so pleased about hearing about Viltrumites. So I'm wondering now, has Nolan lied? Because nobody seems to know anything about Viltrumites, not even his wife. Any Everything that we are being told is from Nolan's mouth. What if, in fact, Nolan is not from a race of savior aliens, but destroyers, warmongers, or something like this, you know? The guy is already um, on the scene, you know? Uh, we already have doubts. On the guy so I'm gonna doubt everything he said so I'm gonna doubt Veltramites um, it's not a big leap of faith you know uh, it's shady so I have no reason now to believe what he says even about his own origins he's talking about his grandparents as well he's talking about why he would come here but I mean even if he would come to earth he, I suppose if he were really, really part of a um, world embedment uh, committee, 
wouldn't he have to make reports? Because so far we haven't heard about any reports or anything like this, and his wife doesn't seem to know about anything of that ilk at all. So, yeah. So, quite awkward. And so, Damien seems to be back. I don't know how it happened. Maybe um, the incantation was not complete or was not as efficient, or maybe just um, they didn't get the right one. I don't know. I don't know, it's going to be quite interesting, but right now, uh, Damien is maybe one of my favorite characters on the show. I don't know who my favorite character is for right now. I mean, Mark is really great. Um, funnily enough, it's not that often that the main character of a show is my favorite character, but I say Mark is um, really sweet, really nice, uh, really funny, nice spirit. Uh, Talking about a nice period, I'm quite relieved as well that Cecil is on the good side, that he's, um, uh, he's not shady, but I don't like the way it went about uh, Dark Blood Damien. Um, I'm still to get the reason to this, but hey, he's, he's, he's investigating Nolan and he, 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 he knows Nolan did it, so that's. That's quite nice. And yes, the new Guardians of the Galaxy have taken place in there, or settling in, into the, the base. So maybe we're going to have more uh, about them next episode, because this episode was, uh, um, we had the recap, and it was more focused on uh, um, progressing a little more on the um, on the plot. So maybe it's going to be like that, you know, a little bit of the plot and a little bit of the side characters and everything, balancing life. There's a lot of things going on, so um, a 40 minutes episode or 15 minutes episode or so. Uh, it's a lot to do. It's a lot to, to deal with because they are trying, you know, they have all of these intrigues and, uh, and all the while during one episode they have a uh, episodical intrigue, so yeah. So that was my reaction to Invincible Episode 4, definitely one of um, the the better episodes. I mean, it's only Episode 4, but I like it uh, up there uh, amongst my favorites so far, for sure. And we're going to see what the uh, next episode has to say for itself. Until then, um, thank you very much. Please take care. Don't forget the little challenge. Subscribe. That start with this. Uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any video. As you can tell, I have daily uploads maybe one, sometimes maybe two videos with the gaming as well. And uh, take care, have a nice life. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna be seeing you next time. Bye.